Equilibrium constant is a ratio of products over reactants raised to their respective coefficients. And uh, this is a homogeneous reaction, meaning that all reactants and products are in the same phase, in this case in gaseous. So if I want to write equilibrium constant K subscript C, now if you have a subscript C, it simply says we are doing it in terms of concentration. You could have subscript P in terms of partial pressures or eventually subscript A in terms of weak acid dissociation. So equilibrium constant is a constant and it's constant at a given temperature. Its products as the numerator raised to their coefficient. In this case it's 1 so we don't write it. And this concentration as is at equilibrium so for the first few times I write it eventually I might shy away from that divided by the reactants, which is carbon monoxide at equilibrium, its concentration times hydrogen at equilibrium raised to power 2. So this is Kc. This is the expression. You should be able to write it. Products over reactant. And all reactants and products are in the same phase. They are raised to their respective coefficients. Now magnitude, the number that is associated with Kc, is function of temperature it also describes the extent of reaction. How far you go to the right hand side products or you stay as reactants or, or you're somewhere in between. So there are three possible cases that you need to know. If value of Kc is much larger than 1, then the reaction goes to completion as if there is no equilibrium. So you simply have one arrow going to products. So this is a case that reactants completely disappear and products come to life or almost now if kc is much smaller than one then uh, it's as if the reaction is not taking place reactants are don't get a chance to become products so the arrow is this way the reactants are staying as is as molecules now the possible case that we like is when kc is somewhere between 100 to 100 that's a decent Kc, and that's where you have noticeable amount of reactants and products. So remember that. Now let's go to the next slide and have a few examples of homogeneous reactions going. The first reaction is when nitrogen reacts with oxygen, gives you uh, nitrogen monoxide, and Kc is 1 times 10 to minus 30 at 300 Kelvin. Temperature is important to be given to us. You change uh, temperature, you will change the value or magnitude of Kc. Now I'm using this opportunity to just write Kc expression-wise. You can do the same. So Kc is products of reactant raised to their respective coefficient. In this case, is NO raised to power 2 divided by nitrogen multiplied by oxygen. Now Kc is much smaller than 1. So this is the time that you can say the reaction is not going forward. It's, it's reactant favored. You're staying as is because it's a ratio of products or reactants. So denominator is humongously large and numerator is very small. So this is reactant favored. Another way to say that the reaction is not going forward. So it's reactant favored, not product favored. The second case that I have is two carbon monoxide reacting with oxygen to give you two carbon dioxide. Now this time case is humongous, much larger than one at a given temperature. Therefore what you have is going to completion. You do not have any of reactant left at equilibrium, but you need to be able to write the equilibrium expression, which is product, in this case CO2 raised to power 2, divided by carbon monoxide squared times oxygen. Since Kc is much larger than 1, therefore its product favored. It goes to completion. Okay. The last case I have is a, a case that you have an alcohol uh, reacting with uh, organic acid to give you uh, ester plus water. They are all liquid, therefore this is also a homogeneous reaction, 
and KC is 4, which is definitely between 0.01 and 100 at this given temperature, which is 100 degrees Celsius. So if we write KC, we are going to write our products, which is this humongous molecule. Eventually, you will find out this is an ester raised to power 1 multiplied by H2O, the other product raised to power 1, divided by our alcohol, which is ethanol, C2H5OH, multiplied by the acid, ethanoic acid. So this is a decent KC. This will say you will have noticeable amount of products and reactants. You really have twice, uh, twice of products compared to reactants. So this is a case that you can say you have a decent amount or noticeable amount of reactants and, and products at equilibrium. So be able to write equilibrium expression or constant and uh, realize there is a number associated with it at a given temperature, it's function of temperature, and if it's much smaller than one, you are reactant favored, you're not going anywhere. If you are much larger than one, there is no more reactant left after equilibrium, and if you are somewhere between 100 and 100, you have equilibrium, nice equilibrium, and you have a noticeable amount of reactants and products.